Hello everyone, uh, we're going to talk about how to create multi-screen application today. So, so far we uh, start from one activity. So we have one activity with name activity one and you see we don't have anything in the screen yet. So let's, um, let's create something to switch to the second screen. For this purpose, I would like to identify this uh, screen a little bit different. I want to change the background for this activity. So for this purpose, I have a, a GPG file in drawable REST folder that I prepared. So let's change background for this activity by pressing uh, on this activity and then check the picture for uh, C1 GPG. So this looks like uh, it's a good fit for this activity. So I want to bring a button here and implement uh, on-click listener for this button. For, for this purpose, I want to um, uh, have image button for this activity and uh, drag and drop image button, for example, for the right bottom area for this, for this screen and choose image button with the text next. So I already prepared those buttons in uh, my drawable folder, I have uh, next GPG and brief GPG. This is uh, the both buttons is in my drawable folder, so I can show you. And also the picture for the uh, background also in my uh, drawable folder. Okay, so let's go back to the uh, to the activity. So what I need to do, I need to um, a property on click for this button. So what I will do right now, I will go to the viewer property and by choosing this button on the right side I can write here for example on click. So this the method will be attached to the to the button listener. So if you go back to the uh, XML representation on click is method is added to the properties. So right now we're going to implement this on click method by creating on click view in activity one. And this is where we want to transfer control from one activity to another one. So what we want for this purpose, we will be using intent uh, object. So intent object, this is the object that actually uh, provide smooth transition from current activity to another. So the first arguments for this uh, transfer for the constructor for intent will be this, which means the current context. The second argument will be the name of the activity. So let's say this activity would have name activity 2. An extension for this activity will be class. The extension for activity class is required for intent object. So we have error here right now that cannot resolve the symbol activity 2 because we didn't create activity yet. And finally we have to start activity. Start activity by intent that we just created. It's a very simple transition. But we need to create activity two right now. So, so let's create um, the second activity. So uh, for this purpose, we uh, choose a right click on the package name. The next we can create uh, so new activity. And let's create uh, empty activity for this purpose. So we will name it uh, activity two. And layout name we will choose in this case uh, also main two. And what happened right now? We redirected to the second screen right now. Activity two and activity two has a very similar structure that activity one. So please note that for the second activity you have a, a second layout. Uh, the second layout is uh, main to XML. So we have to wait until uh, Gradle finished synchronization. We have a couple of red uh, spots right now, but uh, maybe in one minute it will be everything will be cleaned up. 
Also, we notice that error with activity 2 disappeared in this case from the first class. Okay, so let's run the project. So we have uh, application is running right now, so we'll press next button. So we'll be redirected to new screen. So new screen, just simply a blank screen right now at this moment. Uh, so what we need to do, we need to change the title for the application because it's activity 2. And we need to do kind of like some kind of decoration as well. So let's go back to activity 2. So this is activity 2 extends the same EPV compat activity. And we want right now to change uh, the the title of this application, but to change title for the application could be done dynamically by setting title this dot set title, and we just will be very straightforward in this case. We will write activity two. So also, uh, we will change right now the background for the second activity. Second activity so far is looks like this, just simply white. So let's uh, also apply background for this activity. So background for this activity will be also uh, the file that I prepared before. It will be a file from my drawable folder. So we select C2 as uh, the decoration for this uh, second activity, and file will be a drawable folder C2 that I already copied and pasted into Android Studio. So if you run again right now, let's see how it looks like. All right, so we have again activity one, pressing next. We have right now activity 2, the new title, so the title will be dynamically assigned in the application during the runtime. So the last piece, we need the button back here, right? And because it's relatively out, it's, uh, it's very easy to bring image button to the low bottom corner, select the button prev as again that the button prev was actually prepared uh, before so if you don't have this image you have to probably uh, think about this and this button uh, should also have uh, on click listen right because we want to close current activity and go back to the previous activity so press on this button so right here so we will write here on click method. So we're using the same method because this is a different activities and that method will be absolutely independent from the same method with method and the same name in different activity. So what we want, we want only one thing, we want to uh, finish the current activity. It will be simply, the current activity will be simply destroyed. All right, so let's uh, run again and uh, see final result. So activity one, press next. Activity two, that's previous. The current activity is died and uh, activity one will be restored again. So maybe not the best uh, with, um, with these buttons. You have to work a little bit with buttons and align them in a proper way. I guess it's a slightly different, but this is not uh, very critical for this type of application at this moment. I'd like to pay attention to Android manifest. So since we add new activity in application level, we had a new activity tag added to the activity, Android name dot activity 2. So this activity is not main and launcher as activity 1, as you noticed, right? So that's why we have uh, um, second activity is uh, dependable on the first activity. All right, so it was a video how to uh, create multi-screen basic application for Android. Thanks a lot.